Oh, hello everyone. I got another video for you today. You might be interested, you might be not. Uh, this video might not be for everybody because uh, I know there's some Beetle fans out there that they will not go with any other back to Beetle. And, and that's cool if you can afford it, but I know there's some guys out there. Sometimes I'm in that position too, that I'm not willing to pay that much of money or I cannot afford it at all because it's too much money. Uh, and we know those beetle bags are pretty expensive, especially if you want to get something around this size. Uh, you're talking about over $200 easily on a beetle bag. I'm not saying they're not worthy. Uh, to me, they are the best or one of the best uh, in terms of design and quality bags out there. Uh, they really put some mind and brain on those bags to me. I, I own a few of them and I love them. They, they are my favorite bags, to be honest. Uh, but I know there are some out there that will not spend that money, whether because they don't, they just don't want to spend that money on them or they are in a budget, which is nothing wrong with it, you know? You don't have to go buy the expensive uh, brands if you, don't, if you don't want to or you cannot. You shouldn't feel bad about it. So here we are. So that's why I'm presenting this video to you. Had a couple of uh, gift cards, Home Depot gift cards, so I went ahead and bought me this bag. Uh, the other day I was walking by and I always like to stop and look at the tool bags or tools they have in Home Depot. And I saw this bag and I found it pretty interesting for the price. So I went ahead and bought it. And this is how it looks. This is the Husky uh, 6 inches large mouth bag with two, two walk. So once again, this is the 16 inch. There's also an 18 inch, which is the exact same design, uh, just 18 inches instead of 16. And the difference on the other bag is too, is that on the, on the back, you get another bag like this one. I don't know if it's a hard plastic bag. The other one you get in the 18 inches, but I know it's similar to this bag that you will get uh, if you get the 18 inches. On the 16 inches, you get the one back like this one, and then the, the other side is just backs like this one over here, or pockets, if you wanna call them like that. So this is how it looks from the outside. This is the Husky 16 inch large mouth, and back, two back. This is how it looks on the sides, and this is how it looks on the back. Now, don't pay too much attention of the tools, not tools, I'm sorry, the tools, that I have in here because I'm still working on this bag. I just got this bag a few days ago, so I still haven't put too much mind on working this, but I want I wanted you to take a look at it. You might have some good ideas so on what other tools I should add. Uh, you know, ideas, comments are welcome in this channel. You know, we learn from each other and I'm all for that. So this is how it looks on the side. As you can see, it has a handle on each side so you can grab the, the the back with one hand on this side and the other hand on the other side so you can get a better idea on how the ways you can carry this bag like I said one handle here and another handle here so you can grab it with both hands like this uh, easily so let's look at some of the specs of this bag and see what you think of it. okay some of the specs that we have on this bag I have the name tag over here that I took off this bag this is the 16 inch large mouth bag and these are some of the specs that you can get from this bag it's a heavy duty 1680 denier i don't know how to how do you pronounce that word poly fabric rainforest corners and edges 12 external pockets and 25 internal pockets elastic strap to secure tools and then it says the the dimensions over here 16 inch width by 9.5 in diameter by 12.5 high so those are the specs that's what you can expect from this bag and now let's take a closer look to it the zippers are pretty well made for the price to me they look uh, good quality zippers here is a plastic hard plastic uh, bag I don't know what you could put in there that you might want to protect uh, you might have a better idea right now i only have uh, electrical tapes in there so 
that's what I'm using it for as, as, of, as of now. Like I said, I haven't really put too much mine on, on what I'm, exactly what I'm gonna carry in this bag. Uh, you get a, you don't get a hard plastic all the way. All you get is a, a hard plastic legs. You get four legs, I mean five legs, four in the corner, four in each corner and one in the middle. So it looks pretty good. You know, you get it, like it says right there, Rainforest Corners. Uh, it looks pretty well made right here. The material is really good. It looks good quality, a strong material. The, the holders or hangers, you know, are Rainforest. Something that I didn't like though, you know, you, you, you put the straps on this one. I didn't like the triangle design. But anyways, what I don't know is how much it will last because here if you use if you put the, the shoulder if you look close close it seems like it's putting too much stress on this area so i don't know if if that will last too long or not to be honest i don't want to say it's, it's not gonna last that long you know just don't over overfill your bags you know i've seen videos where then i don't want to criticize nobody but man there's some videos out there that they over feel their two bags and something something that I always put in my mind is my two bags are not my car cargo van you know a two bag is not a cargo van so don't try to put all your van in a, in a, in a two bag come on you know so don't overdo it you know just do for whatever the bags are made for put the most important tools you know in there you know I know that you don't want to walk back to the van Trust me, the way that I have done it, you know, through the years, uh, I don't really have to walk that much back to the van. And you will, sometimes you will always have to go back because either you're gonna need a part or you're gonna need something for that unit to fix that unit. So you're always gonna have to do at least one or two trips back to the van. So that's why I don't overfill my bags. I always just keep them simple, try to keep them light where I'm comfortable carrying them as well, and they're not just super heavy. So again, that's another subject, but this is the Husky bag that we're talking about. Don't overfill it. You know, just put whatever is more important in, in this bag. You can either use this bag for repair bag, as a repair bag, or you can use it as a storage bag. You know, if you just wanna sit it in your van and put the tools that you hardly ever use, um, in there and whenever you need something you come in there and you open it and grab what you need and whenever you're done you come in and put it back in there so it's basically you can use it as a two organizer bag or storage uh, tool bag if you if you want to call it like that uh, so let's keep talking about the bag this is the strap the strap is actually pretty good it looks heavy duty good quality for the price you know something that I wish it was better material is this one I don't know how much how Good, this material is gonna last. This is like soft, uh, spongy material. I don't know what kind of material it is, this is, but if it was something like this, it would have been better to me, on my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong, you know. And again, this is how the, the back looks on the on the outside. <clears throat> you get one, two, three, four pockets like this one on this side, and in the back you will get six of them. And this is for the 16 inch. You will get six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something that you have to be aware of, um, something that I didn't like that much, is that when you put a tool like this one, then the front pocket is too tight. Or even if you put it on the front, then the back pocket is too tight. So that's something that probably they, they needed to work on better. Because like I said, I can hardly put my finger in there because it's too tight already so I don't know or you might have a better idea what other tools you can put in there that will fit better other than what I have but don't pay too much attention to what I have right now like I said I'm still working on this bag I'm still whether I'm gonna use it as a storage or a big repair bag okay so now let's take a look in the inside and see how it looks on the inside so you can have an idea of what kind of tools and how much you can put let's dig up in the inside before we go in i forgot to measure about your electrical uh not electrical but your measuring tape uh, hanger right here metal hanger where you can put your uh, measuring tape in there uh and you have another back here too i forgot to mention there's another back that you can 
you can storage and more, more stuff in here if you want. So now let's go inside and remove this, the shoulder strap so it won't be in the way. Like I say, the zippers, really good quality for the price zippers to me. You don't have any issues opening or, or closing the back. So this is how you open it. And this is what you get in the end. So it's a large mouth uh, tool bag. <clears throat> so what do you get, get inside is this. You get a zipper back in here. But you don't get one on this side so it's only one side that you're gonna get that back you get some uh, pockets on this wall and then you get pockets on this wall nothing on the sides and then you get this wall right here with pockets as well so <clears throat> once again don't pay too much attention of the tools i have i'm still working on this on this back i just want you to have an idea what you can put in here and yes i'm still rocking my old school 18 volt uh, battery, heavy, bunky, if you want to call it, uh, impact drill. I love it though. I love it. It's pretty good. It still works, so I'm still going to be using it. Anyway, so this is what you get in the inside. You can put uh, speed wrenches. I have a big hammer in there, and I have a uh, 12 inch, 12 inch uh, crescent, 12 inch crescent in there just laying them laying there because if you put a standing it's not gonna fit standing so i just throw it in there and i have a channel lock the same size uh, this is the the wall that can be removable like i said you have pockets on the front and then pockets over here in the back as you can see there's a pocket over here in the back and you have some of uh, this i don't know how to call it i think it says right here uh elastic straps we call them elastic straps this one here this is what he was talking about about elastic strap i'll show you when i pull it out and you get the same thing on this side one pocket actually and elastic strap something that i didn't like about the size pockets is that they are they are too short i wish they were a little bit taller like this ones right here so you can put a uh, this kind of long screwdrivers because if i put this screwdriver here in the middle then this will not close as you can see it barely makes it if i put it if i put them right there so what i did is i cut me some pvc pipes to hold them a little better so they won't be just trying to fall in but like like you said like i said the pocket is too short for this type of a screw long screwdrivers that i have or long uh, nut drivers like this one. So what I did is I put some PVC and I and I made them as holders, so I can have my uh, this kind of screwdrivers better uh, on that area because the pocket is too short. So this is the I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this out so I can remove the the wall that you get inside so this this wall right here is removable if you don't need it if you don't want it you can always remove it you just pull it up and you easily remove it and this is the wall right here you get a pocket so that's the elastic straps right here or you can also storage more stuff in there if you want the same thing on the other side you get the exact same thing like i said i still i still haven't finished setting up this bag. I'm still thinking of exactly how I'm gonna use it. If it's gonna be a storage bag or a uh, big repair bag. Um, like I said, guys, don't overdo your bags. Don't overfill them. You know, try to be smart. Try to uh, get tools that will save you space. And that's what I do, and it has worked very well for me. Again, this is the Husky 16-inch large mouth two bag that you can find at your local Home Depot for $44 plus tax. That's how much I pay, $44 plus tax. I'm gonna put a link below that you can click on it and see if your local Home Depot will have it. Again, if you're in a budget and you want a nice looking, good quality bag for the price, this is a way to go. This is the Husky 16 inch large mouth bag. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to keep supporting this channel. I will really appreciate that. And for those that are already subscribed, 
Thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys have a nice and blessed day.